guys welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty and to today's video I'm Debbie and if you've not been here before this channel is all about getting creative with makeup whatever your age and it's spooky season so it's the time of year when I feel at my most creative so I'm super excited to be filming today and I've got my new background all set up ready to go I was going to use an older palette bring out something from the past that was Halloween and spooky themed and then this palette turned up in the mail and I couldn't resist filming with it but I think we can do a Halloween look using it. So it is of course my friend Annette from Annette's Makeup Corners collab with Odin's Eye. She was one of the three collaborators with them in the Legendary Diverse collection. I just picked up this palette, really wanted to support my friend Annette and yeah it's a gorgeous palette. The colours inside very much lean themselves towards doing a Halloween look. I think there's lots of deep tones, dark yummy mattes and some sparkly shimmers, touch of pink here. I think it's going to make for a really special Halloween look. So that's what I've got planned to do today. So why don't we just get started? I'll scoot you in and we'll create a look with this palette. Okay guys, before we start the look, I'm just going to show you the palette super up close if you've not seen it before. But these are the colours, I think it's really really pretty, as I say lots of deep dark mattes which I'm really excited to play with. When a palette's got a lot of richness and deep tones like that it always gets me excited and this one was my favourite of the three but just happened to be an X palette as well which was very fortunate. Trying to buy a lot less makeup and so I just bought the one off them. But I'm going to go in and prime my eyes using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I think for today's look, I want to do a kind of halo eye situation. Not done one of those for a while, but also wing it out as well, kind of. Probably use tape to do that today. Don't know how much fallout these deep dark mattes will have, but I've already done my base makeup, so let's hope they're not too fallout heavy. I do really love the Odin's eye formula, particularly the shimmers, they're really sparkly and pretty glittery but not pressed glitters so I'm all about those so what colours do I want to use then I think I've got to use Howling and Annihilation and I definitely want to use a Blaze and probably Skull as well so we'll have a bit of blue in there I think it's going to be pretty much all the deep dark mattes to be honest okay so tapes are in place I really need to buy some better tape to do this I'm going to go in the shade Howling and start packing that kind of in a wing shape in my outer corner. That's going on super opaque and smooth, so I'm really happy with that. I'm going to be a proper winged out shape to this one, but be a halo kind of eye as well. That's kind of a plan for it. I'm going to use more than my eye shape. I'm going to go beyond my my eyebrows there. Make it big and dramatic. If you're kicking off Halloween season you may as well go dramatic, eh? I really really love the grape purple kind of tones of that one. Gorgeous shade. I was going to use black to deepen this up. I don't think I'm going to need it. It's super deep and dramatic already. I'm just softening the edges at the top there. Just giving it some smoke there. For the inner part of this halo, I'm going to go in with the green shade Desolate there. In the centre or oh, the corner of my lid there and then just bringing that up. But still in a kind of this shape. I don't know how to explain it. Kind of a swept shape. But we are still going to be leaving a halo in the middle. I'm using the packing brush but just the, the very tip of it to kind of give me that control there. And the lid itself I'm just going to use a packing motion just to pack plenty of that pigment down. Oh I love these deep rich mattes in this palette. I was ever to make a palette this is kind of the deepness that I would want in it. I'd probably want some some reds of course but 
other than that it's pretty much my my perfect colour story. Annette loves blue eyeshadow, I'm not a blue eyeshadow fan so I'd just swap out the blue for, for red and then it would be perfect for me I think. Yeah, I'm liking the shape we're creating, I don't want to join these these two colours together so we need a gap in the middle there. I'm using a Morphe E36, something really small. I'm going to go into Antipode, if that's how you say it, this grungy kind of pukey colour here in the best possible way. Love those sort of colours. And I'm just going to use that just to blend around the edge of that green. Just to make it even more murky than it was already. So just using little circular motions to incorporate that colour. I don't know if it's changing things up too too much but that's what I wanted just to just soften that green a little bit. And I'm just going to use a blending brush just to blend. There's no light blending shade in the palette but that's okay. Okay, now in this area we have here, that's where I want to put the shimmer, but I'm going to go in with a blaze, I think, to give me kind of a base for it. So a blaze is that pink shade there. So I'm just going to pack that shade just on my lid, actually. I'm not going to take it all the way up. I'm just going to pack that on my lid. And we're not going to worry about blending it in with the green or anything because the shimmer is going to cover it but I just wanted that pinky base underneath the shimmer I'm just going to apply a little bit of glitter glue over the top of that shade everywhere we want to put that, that shimmer down just kind of pouncing that over my lids because Doing quite a blended look here, don't want to cut crease or anything. And now we're going to go in with that shade Skull, that blue, purple, duo creamy shimmer. Mm, can't see the pink through it. I thought you might be able to see the pink through it, but it's got quite a dark face, so you can't, but that's okay. Just packing that everywhere where the pink is. At least it's showing me where I need to go with that shade. It's a magical shade though, it's really really sparkly and duochrome but with lots of glittery particles in as well. Really really special. And then I'm going to use a bit of Eternal and I'm just going to carry on this shape using that. So I'm kind of going over where that shimmer is and also joining it into that mat there. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Kind of got green to, to pink in there. The shade is hard panning a little bit though. I'm going to be careful to rough it up a bit to get it to pick up on the brush. Reminds me a lot of the Space Age Prophecy highlight from Kaleidos actually. It's got that pink to, to green magic in it. Yeah, what's that pink blaze shade? So I think I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Anger Mood in my waterline by Linda Halberg. just want to make this a bit more spooky and Halloween-y. For the lower lash line I'm going to go in with Howling on the outer part and I'm going to use a blaze in the inner part. So I'm just going to basically be joining up to where I've created that wing shape. Only coming about halfway. Can use a flexible brush and no additional product just to blend underneath this line now I just want to I wanted to get a graphic shape but I do I do still want it to look blended as well so then in with a the blaze the pink that we lost from the the upper lids I'm just gonna use that towards the inner part here really nice on the lower lash line actually, it's just giving that pop of pink there. I 
I'm going to take a bit more of that eternal shade, the one we've got in the centre up here, that shade. I'm going to take a little bit of that as my inner corner highlight as well. Just a tiny bit though. Nothing too crazy today. Okay, that's the look to this point. Just going to hop off camera for mascara and a lip and I'll be back with you with the finished look. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Really love how spooky and dramatic it's turned out. And it's amazing that you can take whatever palette you want and you can make it into a, a spooky look if you want to. And although this isn't what you would call a traditional spooky palette, it's definitely got a lot of those like dark and yummy mattes, as I say, spooky kind of shades in there. Tried to use that pink shade, the ablaze shade in my lid, and I think it would have looked lovely just left on my lid like that as a matte, but topping it with that shimmer, the skull shade, it's too much of a black base opaque shimmer for what I was trying to do. I needed like a topper shade to do what I was thinking of doing, but rescued it anyway, and by no means upset with the look. I think it, it's turned out really dramatic, really nice. One of my favourites I've done in a while. And that ablaze shade is beautiful in the corner here on my lower lash line. I love that shade, that howling shade. It's that purple grape kind of shade that I always love, but you never find a good one of. They're always patchy, and this one's just so opaque, but easy to blend, beautiful. This shimmer here, Eternal, is really special. It's quite hard to pick up on a brush. I think that's probably going to be better using your fingers to pick it up. I've made a big hole in it trying to pick it up, but nevertheless, it's stunning. It's, as I say, it's got that kind of look like the Kaleidos Space Age Prophecy, that multi-chrome shimmer from pink to, to green in it. It's just gorgeous and, and yet it looks blue when you look at it in the pan. It's really magical. So, and the green shade here, Desolate, I use that in the inner part here and that's why I decided to go with a green lipstick just to echo that. And I've used a uh, Melt and Beetle Juice lipstick. This one is Ghost with the Most. So this was a lot of fun to kick off spooky season. Hope you enjoyed seeing me create a look with the palette and use it for the first time and also create something a little bit spooky vibe. You'll have to let me know what you'd like to see next. I've got the Nomad Haunted Europe on the way. I'm planning to film with that as soon as it arrives, but it may not be here for a little while. So I need an idea. What would you like to see, guys? I've got lots of spooky palettes. I've got a... Uh, Halloween palette collection video from last year. I have added a couple since then, but I'll drop that down in the, the description box or link it up in the cards for you so that you can see what palettes I've got. But I'd love to know from you guys, what do you want to see me film with next? But thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. Have a lovely day or night wherever you are and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.